episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. I'm Edwin. Still in it. And sadly, it is that time of the week once again for yet another YA movie. This time it's young for adult. the young adult. Yeah. Oh. After this is a film based on a book by Anna Todd, and it has the most generic premise I've ever heard of. Wait. A Woman second. falls for guy with a dark background. Oh, so it's like a coming of age, another coming of age. I don't age. know. I put this it's in. One, it's another one of those lovey dovey type of stuff. Type it's romantic. It's, it's already labeled as a roman romantic movie. Oh, okay. yeah. Like so. I said, the only woman falls for a guy with a shady past. Yeah, so let's just dive right into this for the official trailer, because it's getting a shit ton of views over YouTube. Um, for After. So here we go. It's literally just called After? Yeah, yes. just After. Such a song. Who is Harden Scott? Apparently, just a Bieber like. <laughs> Jesus. Call and text every day. Let's call it to Thomas Survival. Oh, so Blair. It'll be fine. She's not trying to murder him. Okay. Truth or dare? Okay, truth. Okay, I'm gonna burn you. I'll do dare. I dare you to make out with Harden. I'm done playing this game. Oh, I like this girl. This is me or is this? Oh my gosh, she's playing hard to get. Who is Harden Scott? I think that it's better if we keep our distance. Ha! <laughs> ah. so Welcome to my favorite place. Thought that you just wanted two friends. I don't think we can ever be just friends. I Thick ass fucking eyebrows. What? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, you no, me. That makes sense. You see who his father is? His father has some thick ass eyebrows too. That should not come as a surprise to us. <laughs> oh my god. Is the anime from the 80s? <laughs> Let me look at this. Oh my god. Um, it it's good to see Selma Blair because right now she's, good, she's dealing with a lot of medical issues right now. Because mm. um, I think she, she just got, she has, she's uh, been. Diagnosed with AS, pretty much, and she's been walking around with a cane and stuff like that, carefully. Mm. So it's really good to see her in the, you know, in a film. At so, Bet, what's his dark secret? Bet, Bet, what's his dark <laughs> secret? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call it right now. He was probably like a, some serious vandal or like a thug, that type of thing. You know, probably something uh, generic, but to the point where it got to the point where they needed to like keep a severe eye on him. Nancy, <laughs> probably something to do with his parents, and then he's like. Christopher? He looks like he has anger issues over whatever issue he's Christopher? going over. Um, you know what I'm looking for, man. Something absurd. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, really. Because it's like I've seen so many of them. It's like it could be just a, a, a like... What do you think? Uh, I think he accidentally killed his sister in a car accident. You know what? I can yeah. believe it. I can when believe that. When it comes that. to stuff like this, I can believe it. Also, guys, just pointing it out. Um, and that's when he got dark and became there, Violet. There's a little thing for Facebook called After Series Movies. So I swear to God, there's probably going to be more. Hell no. <laughs> no, sequel's going to be called After This. Then the third one's going to be called After That. <laughs> And the final one's gonna be called After Whatever. No, the final part one. Is, one. That is gonna be after called. Whatever Part One. Oh my god. <laughs> In all honesty, this is After gonna be After. Like, right? <laughs> In all honesty, this is gonna be one of those like this is gonna be one of those sappy films that uh, that I'm pretty sure this is gonna be one that if both you and your SO would be into. That's just how I see yeah. it. Uh, like for uh, one perfect example, um, I forgot what that uh Oh God! There, there's a there's a book series that my fiance loves. It involves a person switching uh, 
bodies every they time. They actually had, they did that movie, yeah, they saw that, we actually watched that The trailer. Quantum Leap movie? No, yeah, that one where they jump, yeah, it's, he jumps from a body, but he keeps coming back to the same Yeah, I heard, I like, heard that oh. gets very creepy and you're yeah. considering the, how long the guy stays in the last body. It's like literally, every, oh, that's the name of the movie, Every Day. <coughs> so every like, Day, yeah, yeah. my fiance loves that book series, and we went to go see the movie for it, which actually wasn't all that bad, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even know about it until she told me, and mm. then I, even I shed a tear at the end, so I was like, Okay, this right here looks like ty looks like one of those movies. It looks like one of those types of films that can really, really get uh, like a pair together, or like you know, just have a nice, uh, see, a, a nice. See, the problem is, is that it's like yeah, the book people, you know, the people who read the books and stuff like that, they're gonna enjoy it, they're gonna love it. Oh yeah. But it's just when you when you have a film goer, pretty much like us, and we see this. It's too generic. It's yeah. The problem is, is they make it too generic like any other ones you've seen before. Exactly. Like, they expect you to read... Like, I don't know if this is a book series. I don't know. Like, but... Do you guys want to hear it? Is it a book series? There's... Is this... Let's see. Three. There's four... Oh, no. There's five. Because one sounds like a prequel. God damn it. There's you know, after. Oh God. There's after we collided. There's oh. after we fell. There's after ever happy. I swear to God, that's the title of it. And the prequel, well, I'm assuming it's a prequel, before. Oh. That just <laughs> made me great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, had a, I got a good title. No. After I leave the movie theater. No. This, <laughs> the, book, the last book in this series came out four years ago. So, okay, so I had my generic hunch right. It was. A, it is based on a book series. And it looks like they're going to try so, to turn this into... And the amount of views they have YA, on like, YouTube with like this. Like a YA... Um, Fifty Shades. See, like I said, uh, like I was saying before. No, 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 not in that. No, I'm sorry. No, I mean in the aspect that a book, they're turning a book series, a book series, a into romantic a book series, series into yeah. a movie series. Yeah, yeah. So, that's what they're trying. I have. Don't give a fuck about Fifty Shades. <laughs> so like, I, I have guess, that, I've had this stuff yeah. that myself. So I, so I'm guessing this is you gonna be. Man. So, I'm guess, so I'm guessing this is gonna be a movie series that uh, that you know anyone who has read the books is definitely gonna want to see. Exactly, and um, like I said, when it comes to a film, the problem is there are times when, uh, usually if it's based off a book, you need to find a way to really grab people's attention. And the problem is here, it doesn't grab my attention because it's, it's, like, it's just like any generic type of. It's just a another. It's like I said. It's just a another YA movie. That's, that's all it is. is. It that's doesn't. There's no. There's no hook to it. There's no. It's like there's no hook to where it's like, ooh, you got my attention. No, it's just the basic. He's got a shady past. I mean, that's it. That premise. I be. I. That premise I read in the beginning was so generic. Chick falls for a guy with a dark past. You know, it's like. That's like the fiftieth time I heard this in Hollywood. It's hard though because it's like. You want a trailer that can, like, get you hooked in, but yeah. we're also jaded with, like, all the media that's out there. But at the same time, you don't want a trailer that reveals too much, because then you feel like you've seen the whole movie. Like, yeah, when I saw the, the Planet of the Apes trailer, yeah. I went in to see the, the movie, and I was like, I already saw this whole movie. Yeah. It's like, so it's hard, really hard to find a balance. I feel like there are some trailers that do a really good job, like, for example, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Uh, two trailer was really good at that. They they didn't reveal who the big bad was or anything mm -hmm. like that, but still had enough stuff and substance to still get you hooked into yeah. it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Is exactly. it the same like how they did with the Deadpool film as well? Like nobody knew about you know Ajax being the main villain until you actually went in and watched the film. You just yeah. saw a lot of Deadpool's random antics, and you're just like, well, that's how it is. It's, like your it's mind... not like there's an actual story yeah. or a villain to it, and then you go watch the film, and you're but like, you're hooked Holy in by shit. the comedy. Yeah, yeah by exactly. The antics. You yeah. know, and that's why like I said it's just that's the only and problem good. with having a movie. You know, the problem, I'm gonna, oh, go on, Nancy. Oh, the, the problem I have with like romance movies, especially teen ones, like I, I definitely have not read the books, but. There, too often, I feel like the girl is like, oh, I'm a mousy like type girl that blends in with the background. But and, I don't they state and, any guy. But, yeah. but, but suddenly, this one like supposedly attractive guy, this badass single, dude, singles you know? me out and is like thinks I'm like the greatest person. It's like yeah. super yeah. Mary Sue my type my, thing. My wife pretty much loves watching those, and I'm like, I, I just can't. And, and then it's, it's too, like. It's too pretty much predictable of what's going to happen. I think the thing that bothers me the most is a lot of the time it feeds into, like, romanticizing, like, the, the kind of, like, abusive... I'm not saying he's an abusive boyfriend, but it seems like he has anger issues and stuff. And yeah. And I feel like, like, you 
probably should not be romanticizing those kind of attributes. Yeah, like he should like, probably get help first, and then get some type of help. Know. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's like it's like they're it's like they're. Not... But then there's no conflict, and then you don't have a story if there's exactly. no kind of conflict. Like if he's just a normal guy and she's a normal girl, and they get together, big whoop. Yeah. If he has some kind of problem, then there's gonna be, you know, more of a story. So yeah. it's like, it's, yeah, but it's I still like... don't like the whole like romanticizing like a. That kind of character. Yeah, I know. It, it so, it's, it's worries like, me because it, it, a lot of younger people like read and uh, consume this kind of media, and I don't like that younger girls are more impressionable. So that's that's what bothered me so much about the Twilight series because oh, that because like he. <laughs> that's uh, a whole subject. That's a whole alone. other bag of cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so other than that, oh no, last thing before. So other than that, <laughs> if you're new to the show, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk some more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it's just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to not giving two shits about this YA movie, hit the subscribe button down <laughs> below and hit this bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this trailer. If you've read the books or anything like that, what do you guys take on this trailer? Or even what's your take on either pretty much these type of films, these romantic films or even YA films? Let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reactions overall. But most importantly... Thank you for watching. Yep, and if you want to check out the rest of our other things, my uh, YouTube channel, my group's YouTube channel, VGX7, our website, VGX7TV.com, and our Twitch sharing channel, Ultima Gaming Live. And of course, you can find me Stellar Dan and everything Stellar Dan. So until next time, I'm Kristen. Christopher. Uh, this, and this has been Stella. a very uh, after filled episode of SRV. <laughs> See ya later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.